Hi creatives, happy YouTube Wednesday. We told you at the beginning of the week we would put fa fall fashion on hold to make a U-turn after Laura Farms received so much love a couple of weeks ago. So back to our farming we go. I have huge respect for these farm women in this field. For Insta Monday, we brought you Cattle Rancher, Mom of Four, talking all the ups and downs of real life on a farm, and honestly, real life in the world, all with a minimalist makeup glow done beautifully right in the cow pasture, an all around heart and soul mama you want to know and follow. Farmer Jess Perez, check her out. If you watch this whole vid, I drop a hint who we are crowning our TikTok queens of farming this week. Stay tuned. Let's plow forward. You got that? Okay. Every once in a while, I try and have some humor and I know to no avail. Our YouTube find of the week, bubbly and sweet with a little bit of spice, adding her own flair to the farm industry with big things in store on her channel and more. Farmer Grace with almost 16,000 subscribers, an eighth generation farmer from Kentucky who just quit her gig as a welder. Yes, welder people. Side note, my girl's boyfriend is a welder, so I've been learning all about the dangerous and precise work that fire wielding job can be. Much respect to welders. And Grace, who is bottling up that courage and taking a leap and following her dreams. Let's let Grace tell you herself why she quit her job. So in the past year, I decided to build a brand. And in less than a year, actually, I gained 100,000 followers on my Instagram. I started a YouTube, and I think I have like 15,000 now or something like that on YouTube. Um, I started my own merch line. I... I don't even know. I've just done a lot of stuff in a year while working a 40 hour a week job, at least. And, um, you know, I've done all of that and I got to thinking, imagine what I could do with an extra 40 hours a week. Like the amount I've grown in the past year just off of like doing content creation on the weekends and sometimes in the afternoons, like imagine what I could do with all that extra time. And I, that was one of my big reasons, like the foundation of my brand, what it is now, like that's just a foundation. Okay, we're not done yet, sweetie, but I need a little bit more time. So that's why I quit my job. Grace shared the big news with her subscribers wearing her signature Farmer Grace brand apparel thanks to her sponsor Kaz Gear that reads earned not given. Love this slogan. I am so impressed with these tough women doing the hard work and not just for show. These girls work and they work hard. They problem solve when things don't run smoothly on the farm and even when major equipment malfunctions. Here's her very hard start to harvest season with a little bright spot in between. My tilt is messed up. Um, it's just a big mess. So dad's pulling all the pins out right now, hoping we can get through the weekend. But um, yeah, so that's the issue we're facing now. Every time I go to like start a new pass, I have to get out and wiggle it so the header will drop. But. Um, 
whoever it was that asked my dad if he was Farmer Grace's dad, I just want you to know you made my whole entire life right there. Grace, I think your dad needs a merch shirt that reads, Yes, I am the Farmer Grace's father. Back to fixing problems. Here she explains what all that beeping and frustration was about. These girls know what they are talking about. Okay, so yesterday after I got done cutting um, my last field, I actually ended up going to Nashville and I met up with Evelyn from New York Farm Girls and we had a fun night. But I wanted to show you guys what the issue was yesterday that was driving me nuts. The automatic header height was not working and then sometimes the reel would not work and then I had sensors going off like crazy. It was just a mess, and I'm gonna show you guys what the problem was. Okay, so this right here, this is the electrical. This is what hooks onto the header, or I mean onto the combine and gives the header power. If you could see in there, if it'll focus, in there you see all those pins. Um, whenever we went to plug it in, the pins would push themselves back into the actual plug-in. So we weren't getting a good connection. Besides farming, she takes you along on her everyday life, giving her truck some love, washing it by hand. Love the color girl and high five on the branding. I'm hoping everyone saw it. And then we have the inside. So as you can see, it's just um, random trash, clothes, hard hat, and dirt, a lot of dirt, and snacks. Got some water over there, dog hair. So yeah, um, we're gonna first clean out the inside and then we'll wash the outside. I found the butterfly is in my floorboard. I have never owned a truck, but both my girl and my boy love trucks. Her boyfriend lives on a mountain and dad wanted her to be able to get off of it at any time she wanted. She also works at an animal shelter, so lots of dirt and fur also. I love tough work and glam, so let's finish with glam. I can't get you gone, turn a bar upside down, just looking for something that does it. I give them all my money, ain't nobody selling nothing you prove. Something stronger than I'm used to. Now that Grace has more time on her hands, she is going to start a podcast about real life and is going to up her consistency game now that she has a brand foundation. With all our research, Grace, this is key. You are off to a really great start. Now capitalize on it with more momentum and more videos of your life and the farm. And go make your dad that shirt and post reactions for some really fun content. Comment below with taglines, everyone, for merch shirt ideas for her dad. I say he needs a whole wardrobe. Be you and enjoy the process, Grace, and all the growth that comes from dedicating to it, no matter how many likes you accumulate. We'll be watching and cheering you on. Remember, new industry every week and three content creators making a difference. Insta Mondays, YouTube Wednesdays, and TikTok Saturdays. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow us so you never miss a highlight reel. What's our motto? Value yourselves. See you next time, creatives.